you know, this week here at Oak Hill, really, if you miss it, you want to be probably in the bunker because it's easier to stop it and hold it on the green versus the rough, so unpredictable. And so on steep ones like this, you know, you have to get it up high and get it up quick. So you kind of change a little bit of what your normal bunker shot would be. So if I'm trying to go just right here, what I do is obviously face wide open, ball up in your stance, but I try to lower my hands. And then you just come in a touch steeper and really throw the club and maintain the loft and hopefully it pops up real nice and soft. Kind of like that. There's the ones that stop quick, and then there's longer ones, which is just a little more of a square face, faster swing, then there's kind of a chunk and run. So like if I was going to the flag with this club, it'd be a touch more square, and I'd come in with a little more angle. Rather than trying to lose the angle, I'd hold the angle, and then have a little bit of speed, so it'd be kind of like this. And so that kind of comes out with a lower trajectory and, um, you know, has a touch of spin and whatnot, so. Almost made it. Oh, the almost make me look better than I am. I mean, if you get right to here, um, I mean, this shot is very challenging. So if we were going to the flag, you definitely need a 60 and you need height. And so you need to make sure you really clip the ground and have the correct bounce on your wedge because sometimes you have the wrong bounce and so you could bounce into it. Um, so I have a, an A grind wedge, A grind 60 here. And this is the one that I trust really well. And so on this, it's, you know, I kind of on a shot like this would have my stance a little narrow, but then an open face. And I'm really throwing the angle and trying to hit kind of a medium height spinner. And so it looked like this. There's a lot out here. There's at least seven or eight holes where for sure, if you went long or even if you're short, it's cut so tight that you would put it up there. And I think most amateurs should do that in general. Um, you know, I always tell people if they ask how to shave shots, I'm like, well, let me see how you chip. And if they're struggling with the chipping, I'm like, well, whenever you can get, get a putter in your hand and the best players in the world are gonna do that this week. Shots like this is so much technique and practice. So fortunately you have to put the time into it, but you know, really focus on if you could learn how to use the bounce and the flange of the club versus the leading edge. That really helps. A lot of AMs have it so square, and then they try to help it up or you know, swing way down on it versus having it open and letting the bottom of the club do a lot of the work. You know, you're trying to get to a lower handicap. It's huge to have a wedge that when you open it up or square it, it's consistent for you, and it's different for everybody. So what I use might not be good for you and vice versa. So. Let's just not miss it.